Hello everybody, it's Olivia coming to you from the bedroom floor <laughs> and today I have, you know, it's going to be a little interesting video that I have for you guys today. Um, I know I haven't posted in a while, I tried posting to YouTube and my phone just did not want to allow it. So I ended up posting it to Instagram, but hopefully this video will make it to YouTube. And if it doesn't, hey Instagram, YouTube at, is acting up. So today, I really like, I really wanted to perfect this before I brought you guys a tutorial. Um, I really love covering my brows because if you have a parent that doesn't exactly want you to shave your brows, or if you have like a work that wouldn't exactly be cool with that this is your tutorial and you know for me if you can see i have slightly hooded eyes this eye is a little bit more than the other and whenever i block my brows i have so much more space to do my makeup um you can also do this for cosplay halloween makeup all that sort of stuff all cool all chef's kiss so yeah today we're gonna bring you this little tutorial and i'm gonna give you my tips and tricks and you know what? Maybe you're gonna pop out looking like a drag queen, as you should. So let's get into the video. All right, so for today's video, guys, I'm gonna show you what you're gonna need. Usually people use the Elmer's purple uh, glue stick. It goes from purple to clear. But today I am using this glue stick. It's just a random glue stick I found. It works. Um. This grease paint palette that I got off of Amazon, I forgot what it's called, but honestly, just look up 12 color grease paint palette. They're all basically the same. Um, I'm going to be using this color today. Let's see. Also, my dusty, crusty James Charles palette that, as you can see, this is one of the shades we're going to be using. And here, and a little bit of the orange. And I might dip into this color. From BH palette and I am actually trying a new product today let's see I have these elf 16 hour camel concealers two shades one a little bit lighter than the other hopefully you can see that um, I was running out of my concealer so I was like hey that was five bucks you know we need a little deal over here um, if that doesn't work out I'm just gonna use my pretty vulgar concealer that I usually use a little uh, Kat Von D um, translucent powder this one is really good. I actually am probably going to end up getting the full size one. Um, sorry, there's like a hair stuck on my nose. This little brush that I got off of AliExpress and a little beauty blender if we need it. It's not actually a beauty blender. It's like a little cheap thing I found at the store. So, oh, I almost forgot the most important part. Second most important part. Where is it? It's my little thing of brushes. You are going to need a little spoolie. So let's get into the tutorial. So depending on how thick your brows are is gonna depend on how many layers you're gonna need. So what I'm gonna do, here I'm gonna get my little mirror over here. Take your glue stick and you're gonna run the opposite direction of your brows. So this is the first layer. And then I swirl a little bit extra right in the front because usually those hairs never wanna stay down they always want to make a little appearance. Let's see, so you're going to really like work it in there. And this is not going to rip off your eyebrows. I know a lot of people think it will, but it won't, trust me. And before that has a chance to dry, take my little crusty spoolie, you can tell. This is only for glue. Is it going to focus or am I just going to look dumb? All right, I'm just looking dumb today. Um, it's really crusty, trust me. So I'm going to take this and brush it up because you want it to lay as flat as possible. There we go. All right. And since this spoolie has texture, obviously it's gonna leave texture on the eyebrows. So what I do, I lift my finger a little bit and I just smooth it. So this way it's not gonna leave any extra texture. All right. And this glue is non-toxic, by the way, so it's okay to lick your finger. And then there's always going to be a little bit extra on the side, especially because you're putting so much glue. 
see so if you have really thick eyebrows you're gonna want to do two actually probably three to four layers of this because the goal is a smooth surface you don't want it to look like you have eyebrows right you don't want to see any texture let's see Ooh. so we're getting that off of there right and you want to let this layer dry it doesn't take that long maybe like a minute at most there we go just feel if it's tacky and then so since i have really thin brows i'm just gonna put two layers so i'm gonna take that glue stick again i just dabbed on my tongue a little bit i know it seems crazy but it really helps slick it down and create a smooth surface so i just go over it one more time following the direction again adding a little bit more to the front and this isn't really the complicated process this is just kind of like the easiest part so i make sure there's nothing on the outside Let's see and while it's still tacky i'm gonna take my james charles palette take a little brush one that you don't really mind if it gets like ruined let's see i'm gonna take this little morphe one because this one is trash <laughs> And I'm going to take a little bit of this orange shade and a little bit of canvas and press that in here. So as you can see, just pressing that in. Actually, I'm going to take a little bit of this BH Cosmetics one, this shade right here, and put that in. So if you have a fair skin tone, you're gonna wanna use a lighter orange because if you use a dark color, it's gonna show up through the concealer. No matter like how full coverage your concealer is, most likely it's gonna show up. So you're gonna wanna use a paler orange shade. And if you're a darker skin tone, a more red, reddish orange, or even just full on red is gonna be what you're gonna wanna use here. All right, so now that we're looking like, you know, we dipped our face into a uh, Cheeto dust here. Got that. I'm just gonna let that set a little bit, okay? And then I'm gonna take this right here. Oh, it's really greasy. It doesn't usually feel like this, it's a little weird. All right. And I'm just gonna pat that over. Covering your eyebrows well is all about layers. Yeah. Right? All about layers. And once you get the hang of it, I know this looks like a long process, but once you get the hang of it, it's really not that hard. Okay. So you know that canvas shade that I was showing you guys in the beginning? Ooh. This right here? I'm going to want to put that over because it's going to cover the orange. So... Instead of this brush, because the glue is dried right now, I'm gonna use like a dense, more dense brush. Let's see. So I'm gonna use this one. You can see the shape of it. It's a little bit flatter, right? That's what you're gonna want. So I'm gonna take that color, get a lot on the brush, and just press it in there. Cause this is gonna make it easier for the concealer to cover the orange. Yeah. All right. There we go. See, it's muting that out. And then just doing the same thing on the other side. Now that that is done, you're going to want to feel it. See if there's any stickiness. If there is, you're going to want to put more powder. So you can see, even from far away, just kind of looks almost like my eyebrows are bleached, right? So now. This is kind of like the second to last part. You're gonna take your concealers. There we go. Let's see. And you're just gonna wanna slap that right on. <laughs> Here we go. All right. And then a little bit of a lighter shade. 
Not too much though, because you don't want it to look like there's a halo on your face. And then you're not gonna touch it. That's the most important part. Don't touch it right away. You're gonna wanna let it sit for about 30 seconds-ish because the longer you let your concealer sit, the more coverage it's gonna have. And the whole thing about covering your eyebrows is how much coverage you can get and how smooth you can get your eyebrows. So, just gonna let that sit, you know, watch a little uh, TV show while you're doing this, do whatever, you know, you're looking a little crazy right now, but the end result is gonna be amazing. So now that I've let it sit, you're not gonna take a brush. You're gonna take your finger because it's gonna disturb, if you use a brush, it's gonna disturb everything underneath. So what you're gonna wanna do, take your finger and just lightly pat it. Make sure you're getting all that orange or red depending on your skin tone. Just get all of that. All right, and if you need a little extra concealer, Go ahead and use that. Here, so I need a little bit extra here. I'm just gonna take from that side. All right, so you're just patting it. Pat, 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 pat. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear my radiator. All right, it quieted down for us. <laughs> so what you're gonna wanna do for the edges, take your little brush, and just blend out those edges. Try not to touch the actual eyebrows if you can. All right. Now this concealer looks like it's breaking up a little bit. So I'm just gonna go in with my regular, pretty vulgar concealer. Just do another go around. Nice little swipe. There we go. And I'm not really going to let this one sit as long because I already have that concealer underneath. You're going to take your beauty blender and I'm going to go in that shade that I used earlier, canvas, right? I'm going to really swirl it around in there. That, right? Get on the sponge. Let me move it a little closer for you guys. And stamp that in. This is what really gets it smooth. There we go. And also I like to mix a little bit of this white shade in as well. So it brightens. So really like, <laughs> you're basically beating your face up. Even though I have thinner eyebrows, I could have honestly still gone in with maybe one more pass of the glue stick just to get rid of that extra little texture. But it's okay because you can always smooth out a little bit in um, video editing, not video editing, photo editing. So, the very last step, whoop, I'm gonna take my Kat Von D powder, just a tiny bit of this, and just going right over that. Make sure it's extra set. There we go. And I'm gonna come back with the makeup look that I did and show you guys the final look. But here, I'm gonna show you guys up close real quick. There, you can see. You really can hardly even tell. So oh my gosh, the lighting. Okay. You can really, there we go, now you look like an elf. <laughs> well, I'm gonna come back with the look when I'm done.